सो द फंडा इज सिंपल द मोर सी पी यू डू द मोर पैटर्न यू बिल्ड अप इन योर माइंड हेलो एवरी वन यू आर वॉचिंग हंड्रेड जी बी एंड माई नेम इज गौरव हेयर इन दिस चैनल वी टॉक अबाउट लाइक हाउ टू बिकम better software engineers and lot of uh, other things as well so today in this video i'm going to be talking about uh, commodity programming versus data structures and algorithms which one you should focus on more uh, like either of them or both so all of this is very strange to me i never thought i will be making this video because there is already a lot of content on youtube people have made lot of like good videos and still A lot of my subscribers ask me what should they focus on. Most of them are like new to software engineering, new to programming, and most of them are not coders and still want to understand whether they should do DSA or they should do CP. And I was very certain that at least I don't need to create any video because this is supposed to be a solved problem. But turns out it is not. Before we begin with the video, I'll clarify one thing that DSA is a must. but competitive programming is uh, something for the interviews or something if you want to do it just for the fun of it let's begin with the video and by the way so this is like a small project a small toy that i bought i'll be building this while going along with the video so just bear with me okay so first what is dsa what is data structures and algorithms well we know about that So uh, by the way I created a video on data structures and algorithms versus projects if you haven't watched it here is the video go check it out so data structures and algorithms are the basic building blocks for any software or program that you write or that is ever written uh, even a simple program will have a data structure like an array or a string or a list or something like that and in some cases we do use um, stacks and queues and maybe graphs as well So next where does uh, data structure help or why should you learn it so data structure and algorithm will eventually make you a better programmer and a better software engineer eventually so data structure and algorithm is where you uh, learn to think about the optimization and the coding strategy for the problem at hand and without dsa you won't be able to comprehend what optimization means So second reason it will help you crack interviews and especially for freshers each and every company out there asks dsa related problems and even a few startups as well it's a fact now a lot of people here will say okay don't do dsa projects are enough uh, especially if you're join, joining startups you won't even face dsa related problems yes i i think you can maybe i myself was a projects guy i uh, i i did like DSA here and there uh, in my college but primarily I was a project guy and I was able to land a job with the startup from uh, the college itself but fast forward to 8 years of software engineering experience I say DSA is must so even in my day job I come across situations when I have to evaluate the performance of the code that I am writing which is actually not possible without DSA knowledge I just can't do it so I'd say DSA is a must you cannot get away from it projects are good like having two or three good projects in your resume is still shine but you cannot get away from dsa Okay, so I'm back. It seems like I am almost there. It is looking good. Well, now the major chunk of the work is assembling this chain. Okay, okay, it's not focusing. Doesn't matter. So there are a lot of links that I have to just put into it. It'll take a lot of time. Okay. So coming back 
Next section is what is CP? What is competitive programming? So if you ask me, I see CP as a gamified version of practical application of data structures and algorithms. You have a problem at hand. You have to solve it in a reasonable space and time complexity in a reasonable time limit in a competitive environment as in there is this competition set up around this. So next, why you should do CP or where does it help? So if you're doing CP just for fun or competition, I'd say you don't need any reasons as in I don't need to tell you why you should continue to do that. For others, CP helps you in three things. So first, it helps you uh, improve your problem solving skills. So when you're solving a coding problem in the constraints of uh, pressure and time, your mind runs in a different pace altogether. It, it, it runs like crazy. And the more you do it, the more you learn about the intricacies of DSA. For example, when I was a novice, one fine day I was working on a problem which involved implementing PFS. And I started implementing BFS, the non-iterative version, sorry, the non-recursive uh, version without a queue. I was just wasting my time. The more I did CP, I learned that if you want to do iterative version of BFS, you have to use a queue. You can, of course, implement it by not using a queue, but why waste your time? So this is where it helps you to build a few patterns in your mind so that whenever this situation comes up in the interview or in your day job, you know, patterns are in your mind. The second reason is it helps you in resume shortlisting. So let's say you are a five star coder at CodeChef. You have it mentioned in your resume. And let's say when HR is comparing your resume with others and there is a tiebreaker, you know the answer. What will happen then? But for experienced candidates, competitive programming starts to fade away. Just keep that in your mind. That, that's what I, I, I felt. Third reason, it helps you to handle stress during the interview. So uh, let me tell you that it doesn't really matter how much DSA you do, how much uh, different kind of data structures you read about, you will still fail at the interview. Well, at least I did. Reason, the stress during the interview is very different from when you are solving problems at your home in your comfort zone. So the funda is simple, the more CP you do, the more patterns you build up in your mind so that when a problem comes up in the interview, you can maintain your cool. It is actually very similar to JE preparation. The more you practice, the better you will perform on the examination day. And as Jitu Bhaiya says, IT is liye karo, tough hai. But tough battle ladne mein confidence aata hai like. So now you know why DSA and CP both in some form are important. DSA is a must. CP, I'd say do it for fun. Do it because it is difficult. Folks, this was it for the video. I'll, I'll still, I still have to complete it. My chain is almost there. I still have a few links to uh, attach. And I hope you like this video. This is something different. I kind of like to do something along with the regular, the normal flow of the video. It, it makes sure that the viewer is not getting bored. Okay folks, that is it for the video and this is also done. It looks gorgeous. Hey, by the way, there are a few stickers that are still left and I have to, okay, it's not focusing. Uh, I still have to apply those stickers. And I realized I made one mistake. If you see the handlebar, okay, okay, you can see in the B-roll shots, the handlebar, there are two components which are of different color. They were supposed to be the same color, but I messed it up somewhere, but I guess it's fine. I will keep it this way only. It kind of aligns with the saying that nothing is perfect.
so by the way there there were like two options there are two alternate designs one is a cruiser and the other one is a street bike for some reason i i like street bikes so i made the alternative design anyhow if you like the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one bye it says well it's a fact <laughs>